really this journey that we've been on to humanistic care, to this, to looking at patients in a more holistic way, in a more human way. I would say Teach Academy is a place where people are interested to furthering their abilities to teach others and also furthering their, their view on the world. I am taking what I want for research and academia and leadership within the hospital systems. You have to do something new, you have to learn something new, and it's exactly what I needed at the moment that I needed it. It's a great, great program, and, and I, I, if I could do it again, I'll do it again. It was just an opportunity for growth. I thought I can become a better teacher. We're going to have better clinicians. If we have better clinicians, it's going to make my job easier. <laughs> it's going to make the patients feel better. There are intercultural skills that are part of our practice in the way that we teach. So this, this is another part that I, I believe is very, very important. Our, our curriculum is diverse as our group is, so we're learning about health equity, um, we're learning about effective teaching strategies and effective teaching um, practices, how to best reach our populations and support our learners. You know, we've leaned on internal talent to instruct some of our courses, and we've also had a great opportunity to bring in um, folks from other organizations. We've had clinical educators from UVM present a few courses. The opportunity to bring them to our scholars was really incredible. And when we bring, you know, that like really high level material to our scholars, I hope that they're having the experience that this is something that they could um, be learning in any university setting across the country. Um, you know, we brought in educators from Marist College. We have educators from as far as California who are able to connect with us virtually. We've looked for scholars who are truly committed to uh, making a difference at New Vance and learning uh, and applying what they've learned uh, to help improve teaching and learning at New Vance, uh, student experience and patient experience. So again, just building that scholarly community here at New Vance and finding uh, that place where um, those who are interested in all things education can connect with one another. You know, there's a certain sense of connectedness that improves your quality of life related to your career. So if you have connections that you can um, help your day-to-day -day practice with, whether that be finding a specialist or an, another counterpart who can help you with difficult cases or, or even just having communication where you can say, you know, hi, how it's, how is, how's it been going for you? You know, I haven't seen you in a while. Are you doing well? Um, I think that that connectedness is a, a huge component of, of growth. And the other thing is making connections with people who work in Sharon or Vassar Brothers or Danbury Hospital or Northern Duchess or Norwalk. You know, there are a couple of people in Norwalk that I don't see on a regular basis, but they're in the academy. And now we have such a strong connection that they call me and say, Mary, I'm stuck with my lit search. Can you help me? Of course I can. This first inaugural cohort, scholars participated in a nine month long curriculum that was divided into three units. And the first unit was dedicated to the sort of the nuts and bolts of teaching and learning theory. Uh, the second unit was focused on health equity, diversity and inclusion with a specific focus on uh, intercultural learning. And then the third unit uh, includes everything, uh, innovation, technology, uh, new cutting edge, sim lab, things like that. So scholars have been working over the course of the nine months to develop their own individual scholarly project. And most of these projects really address a need within New Vance Health that they've identified, uh, whether it's in their own department or um, more broadly, uh, where teaching and learning could be improved, um, training programs. So we're really excited to see the long-term impact of these scholarly projects. It's fun. I mean, the scholars also enjoy themselves. They enjoy learning. Um, they're thirsty for that opportunity to learn, to sit in our virtual classrooms as students again, um, and to, you know, 
sort of push one another to consider new perspectives as well. So uh, it's been an amazing thing to witness and to see those connections that are being made between scholars. Um, scholars also participate in peer coaching sessions and so they have that opportunity to learn from and support one another. The Teaching Academy holds office hours at each hospital one day per month because we know it's important to see and meet people where they're at and so we're really excited to connect with uh, future scholars in that way as well. So keep an eye out for us because we're coming to see you soon.